Hi there, I'm Parveen and welcome back to my channel Exploring Me, where I explore different aspects of my life both professionally and personally. As you know, I spend a lot of time on my channel talking about having gotten my master's in data science and then working as a data scientist and discussing the field of data science in general. In one of my more recent videos, I talked about how I moved companies and started a new role during the pandemic where I am actually now a senior data analyst. I wanted to talk about this today, so switching from a data scientist to a data analyst. I think a lot of the time when you're looking up these two roles online, you're going to find a lot about making the career transition between a data analyst to a data scientist. So what I've done is a little counterintuitive to what you might see out there. I wanted to discuss why this was this title change was or wasn't a problem for me and sort of just my take on making that change for myself. So like I mentioned, it's a little bit counterintuitive to how a lot of folks see it. And that's because I think that out there, there's sort of this misconception of hierarchy between these two roles. So a lot of the time when people think about a data analyst, they'll see a data scientist as sort of a higher rung on the ladder of this analysis tech world, as if they're sort of steps that you move uh, between. So you might start off as an analyst and then move towards a scientist. And I think that this is definitely a misconception for a lot of different reasons. The first reason I wanted to talk about is the idea that there's some sort of prestige or inherent worth associated with these specific titles. I think that's a super flawed way of thinking of things. I think within any team, any member of the team, regardless of their title, are all working towards parts of the same problem. And that's kind of how I see data analysts and data scientists as well. So it's not that, you know, one is more valuable than another, it's that they're working on slightly different pieces of the of the same problem, right? And to sort of, sort of take it out of these two professions specifically, think about management. So on any team, you're going to have some type of manager and technically on an org chart, they're going to sit higher than the rest of their team, right? But the thing is that manager, a lot of their tasks are oriented around people management. So they're doing a lot of setting up the projects, the goals of the team, and sort of dividing out what work folks are going to do and then checking in with those people on their team. So they're not really working on technical information. They're technically higher on some type of org chart, but does that give them some type of inherent higher worth? I would say that it doesn't. Um, and if you're someone who does think like that, I guess my only suggestion is like, don't think like that. I personally wouldn't want to work on a team where someone is really heavily associating their worth with a title. I think this is something that once you're actually like in the working world, folks don't really think like that for the most part, or maybe I've just been super fortunate and haven't had to work with folks who, who do think like that. But I think when you're perhaps in school or looking to break into the field, that's kind of how you might easily define the things. You might define them on this sort of hierarchy. But I think that's definitely not going to be the case. And it's even more so in the field of data analysis and data science. Because data uh, science is such a new field, I think that it's still being situated within companies. Like where does it exactly fit? What certain tasks are actually going to be data science versus data analysis? I think what you'll find is what is defined as a data scientist in one company might not pass as a data scientist in another company and vice versa with data analysis as well. I think companies are still working to what define what those roles are. This field is not a regulated field, right? Compared to some other professions such as like engineering, I don't know a lot about engineering, but from what I've heard, it's a lot more regulated in terms of you need a certain number of hours to be defined as a certain type of engineer and then to move up to a more senior position, there's more sort of regulations on the tasks that can be done between uh, those various levels of seniority. That's not necessarily the case with data science and data analysis. It's really a lot more arbitrary depending on the company. So I think that you can't really look to the title to even associate, like, like I mentioned, first and foremost, you just shouldn't be associating worth and prestige with those titles. That's like a weird way to think about the world. And I, I hope you can break out of thinking that way. But you also can't sort of rely on these titles to define what types of problems or skill sets each of those uh, folks are bringing to the team because it's really going to depend on the company and perhaps even on the team with within the company. So for myself, when I was switching between the company that I was at as a data scientist and looking to transition to becoming a data analyst somewhere else, 
I take that back. I wasn't necessarily looking for an analyst role. What I was actually looking were for three specific things. So first and maybe even foremost, I was looking for a team that I would be able to work with a bunch of technical folks. So the position I was in previously, of course, I had people who were technical and uh, professionals within their own fields, but I wasn't around anyone else who was doing the types of problems or working in the same platforms that I was working in. So I was really looking for sort of mentorship from some senior technical folks in my field. So that was really important to me. Secondly, I was really looking to work on more complex problems. And what's considered complex, again, is going to depend on the company, right? You might have a certain company who has just gotten access to their data, has just set up things in databases that are easily accessible. So the types of questions that they're doing might be super descriptive. I was looking for a company that has a little bit more of a robust data analysis, data scientist type of teams. And that's kind of what I wanted to transition to. So to be able to be in a place where I could try more complex um, solutions to certain problems and that would be well received and I'd have the folks that would be able to sort of mentor me through that. And third, I was actually looking for a bump in salary, which is something I found myself sort of stifled in my previous role. So I was looking for an increase about 25 to 30 percent um, as I made that transition. And what was most important to me, like I mentioned, was working on more complex problems. So I wanted to be able to really hone in on the platforms that I was working in, the languages I was working in, the visualization platforms I was interested in. So when I was looking for different roles, I was sort of agnostic of what the title actually was. So I was really open to looking at positions across many different titles, as long as they fit the types of languages that I wanted to work in, it fit the types of problems that I wanted to transition into. So when I landed my role here at Lululemon, this role was actually defined as a data analyst. And for me, I was really happy to make that transition because personally, I don't associate my worth with a given title. Title. What I'm most interested in is being surrounded by folks who are equally as uh, technical and more so technical and super excited about the same types of problems that I'm excited in and also having the ability to do even more complex things. So though on paper, I guess folks might define data, I'm now a senior data analyst versus a data scientist, they might define that a certain way. For myself, I'm actually doing a lot more interesting and complex things. So I think it really goes back to how certain companies might define different roles uh, completely differently depending on where they are in their, you know, sort of relationship with data science or where they are on their timeline of working with data. I think one of the things that folks might be a little bit hesitant about making this transition, specifically data science to data analysis, I feel like I'm switching between the titles and the fields, but hopefully that made sense. Um, folks are hesitant because they're scared they're not gonna be able to switch back. For me, this wasn't really a fear that I had because in my short time uh, in the professional world, I've always found my roles through networking. So I've been able to connect with someone who knows someone who's hiring, or I've been able to get in with that initial call just to hear from the hiring manager about what the role actually is. And this has been super beneficial to me because sure, on paper, if I'm just like cold applying to a bunch of places, and I'm now maybe in my next position looking to apply to a data scientist role, they might see on my resume that, hey, she was a data analyst, like does she have the chops depending on their own understanding of those terms but I've sort of been able to bypass that and being able to talk to someone directly and describe the types of projects that I have worked on and describe my interests sort of moving forward so I think that if you are able to properly communicate the skill sets that you would be able to bring to the team, I don't think a title will hinder you. So for me, I'm not too worried about that. If I wanna switch back into a position where I am titled as a data scientist, I think I would be able to do that. I also work on a team who's super skilled and technical and they sort of move between the two worlds as well. So I think if I wanted to take on some projects that really highlighted my ML knowledge or something like that, that's something I would be able to take on in my current role. So I'm not too hesitant about making the eventual switch back if that's what I choose to do. So I hope this 
kind of conversation around why I'm really happy about my transition between data scientist to data analyst has been helpful to you. If you are looking to make this career transition uh, in the same way that I have or in the opposite way between data analyst to data scientist, I'd love to hear your questions or concerns down in the comments below. Or if you'd like to have more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I'm happy to do that as well. You can reach out to me either here on YouTube or on one of the social media platforms I've listed down below. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.